Hello again, everyone. It's the Jose 32 back with another edition of 366 Days of Cards. Hope you like my new updated intro. It no longer says 365, it says 366. And on today's video, I'm going to be doing a look at the Acorn backs. I had a request from someone, I think it was either Number Distant or Mr. Magic 640, I'm not entirely sure who it was, but I'm pretty certain it was one of the two. Apologize for not remembering who it was. But anyway, sorry I didn't get to it earlier, but here it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I figured I'd do both at the same time. It's just the standard B box, except that says plain cards, wood nays on the bottom. And also says made in USA. Everything else is basically the same. This one is green, this one is red, and it features a lot of gold. And this one actually has club special and playing cards in days in yellow. I haven't seen that on a B deck, I don't think. This side is made in USA. On the other side, acorn back, club special, not diamond back. The bottom on the top it just says poker, there's a black seal. The bottom it's just standard trademark info and it says designed by TWR Hollingworth for the Conjuring Arts Research Center. And in the back is just standard back. So is either back design. It says acorn back. Extra select extra selected for club special. We open it up. We won't, worry, won't worry about the flat too much. In fact I'll do the green one first because that's the one that was requested. And what you get inside is a page from the expert at the card table, which is in a lot of the Erdnay's decks of cards. And the back design looks like this. It's an acorn back. It's got acorns. Uh, sorry, it's, it's, it's an acorn back. What it has is 1902. Then it has SWE for SW Erdnay's in a circle. And it's center here. There's some acorns. And then it has a bunch of hands doing magical gestures and conjuring if you will and it's rider back style and it's all green and white the rest of the deck is a fairly standard B deck standard B court cards I like these they're very colorful bright and they're much bigger than your standard bicycle cards but they're very similar to standard bicycle cards just a lot bigger size as you can see and very nice and colorful, lots of bright colors. And they're also kind of old school looking, I guess you could say. And the pips as well, very nice, very big as you can see and bold. But the indices are a little bit smaller as a result. And they're almost squeezer indices. Because I can hold, I can squeeze, you know, five cards together like a squeezer. And I can see all the indices, so that's kind of cool. The Ace of Spades is just standard B Ace of Spades, nothing spectacular about that, or nothing, you know, different about that. The other cards that you get are two Jokers that look like this. There's a star in the two corners, it says the Joker on the top. And you see a guy sitting at a table with some cards, possibly as W. Ernest himself, conjuring some card tricks. And at the bottom says the expert at the card table. And they're black and white. You get two of those. And then you get the Ask Alexander card, which I won't go into great detail about. It says at the bottom, it says on the sides, Ask Alexander. You got this guy in a turban type thing that looks like a question mark. It says all questions answered, askalexander.org at the bottom. It's an ad card, basically. We could possibly use it as a gimmick. The cards themselves have a good stock and finish, like any B deck. They spread nicely. They fan not too badly. For some reason, they're not fanning as good as they should be, but I don't know if it's just wear and tear or what it is. But other than that, they handle pretty good. They're very good quality, very durable. 
and I definitely recommend you pick them up because I know you're going to like them. That design is definitely nothing wrong with that. Maybe a little bit off-centered, but it's a nice, clean back design that's not going to look suspicious while doing any magic, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't look too bad with fluorescing or anything like that. My cards are good quality, they're durable. They got some really nice big beautiful pips, interesting jokers, and not really that just a standard deck of B playing cards. The red deck is about the same, you get the same ad card as Galaxander. You get this same card from the book. The back design is a little bit different. The back design is gold and red, and I think that really looks nice. Don't think it's metallic ink, but it looks really nice. In my opinion, it looks a little bit better than the green and white, but that's just my opinion. Maybe I just have a thing for gold. The rest of the cards are identical. The Zilkers are the same. The Ace of Spades is your standard B Ace of Spades. Once again, the only difference in this deck, aside from the back design having gold instead of white, is the court cards actually have a peachy color to their faces and their hands, and that's kind of cool. But other than that, it's the same court cards, same number cards. The only thing is the court cards have that little extra color to their face, which is pretty cool. And again, good quality. It's not fanning, again, like it should be. I don't know what it is. But the stock is excellent, in my opinion. And they spread nicely. And they are B cards, they're good stock, they are durable. They look really nice, and again, definitely pick them up. And I know you can still get this on some retailers, not that I said which ones, but definitely can be in Poke World, One Eye Jack, and so forth, etc. etc. And I do think you can get them at Poke Set 52 as well, but not entirely, sir. That is my video for today. Tomorrow, on 366 Days of Cards, I'll be doing a look at the Smithback B cards, alright? So stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time.